everybody. How you doing today? I got probably 20 requests for a flower cane and maybe to make my camera a little bit straighter. So I'm going to try to make this as efficient and short as I possibly can. Not short, but give you the gist of it. I am going to tell you ahead of time, as I always do, I am not a professional. If you're looking for professional videos, um, go buy one or watch another video or whatever. I do this for, it's my way I do it. I've been doing clay for a long time. And then when I got RA and fibro, it became harder to do, but I love doing it. So I do things my way, break it down my own way to teach others how to do it my way. It works for some people, other people. So please don't leave me nasty messages and all that stuff. I really could care less. You know, turn the channel, watch something else, you know, whatever. I um, I just like to give the basics of how to do it, and then you guys can go from there and do your own thing. So, this is a flower petal. Now, also understand, as I always say, I'm downstairs where it's cold, and today I have my little heater on because my um, one of my dogs who's very, um, who's elderly, has not been feeling good and he likes to lay in front of the heater. So it is like extra, extra warm down here. So my clay is a little bit, you know, a little bit softer than it should be. Um, but this again is just my scrap clay. This is not normal, you know, like brand new clay that I opened up and all. So it's, you know, you're going to get the gist of what we're going to do. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to decide what colors you're going to do. Um, what I did was I have a lot of my white scrap clay. And I made petals. I'm, I'm going to make five. I already made four. I'm going to show you how to make a petal. And then we'll go on from there and I'll show you how to construct it. So what I did was my out, my color that I want my petals to be. This is a um, pink, like a fuchsia almost pink. And then I have white clay. So what I did is I take my white clay. And let me move a little closer so you all can see. And I just roll it you know, depending on um, how big you want it. And just roll it, you know. If you're, if you're using Sculpey, you usually don't have to condition as long as if you're using Fimo or whatever, but it depends on what you have. If you find that you rolled it too thin, all you have to do is kind of push it together like this and kind of work with your fingers, and you'll see it shrink up like a little inchworm. And then you can kind of, re, you know, roll it out again if you want. If you notice it's thicker somewhere. Okay. And that's the first thing. So you have, you're going to do five of these. But we're just starting out. So this is what it's going to look like. You will probably not have it as warm as I do right now. And you want to you want to try to get this to be as circle-like as you can. You can see on this end. It ain't, it ain't happening. So I'm just, I, you could just push it down like I'm doing and make it circle like. I'm just giving you the general idea of how to do this. And then when you do it, and you can push it on your mat or your glass, or whatever you work on. And this could be done with air dry clay. Um, I believe Crayola has one. Um, you can use creative paper clay and color it with acrylic paint. So you have different colors of clay. Um, this is polymer clay. This is Sculpey that you bake but it can be whatever you know if you make clay at home if you're playing with the kids and you're using play-doh I mean you know really it's very versatile and once you do it once then you'll see where you need to kind of like work on like I said being so warm down here everything is kind of like mushing kind of together it doesn't have that firmness like if you throw it in the freezer which is what I suggest I suggest you roll these throw them in the freezer for five minutes Take them out, you know, and go on to your next thing. So what you'll do is you'll roll out whatever color you want your outside to be. And like I said, this is fuchsia. So I'm just going to lay in on here. And I'm going to make sure that I got it tight so there's no air bubbles because I get air bubbles. Let's see, I can see that's cracking a little bit because it's been sitting here. But I'm just going to kind of roll it and then give it a cut and you see you have your seam 
Now you can go on, you know, and smooth it with your fingers if you want, or roll very lightly, light touch, and just roll it on your glass or mat or whatever you use to do your clay on. Okay. And I see here there's a little crack. I smooth with my fingers a lot, but then you'll see like you can, you'll, it'll like get a weird shape. So you just go back and roll it. Nothing's not fixed. Everything's fixable in with polymer clay or clay in general. And you just roll it. And then what I do is I just kind of cut these ends off. And then you'll see you have a bullet, a bullseye cane. I don't know why I call it a bullet. I think because it's Halloween and I'm thinking creepy. Next, what you'll do is take your your knife or whatever you're using, whether it's an exacto knife, your clay knife, whatever. It could be a butter knife. And take it and just kind of, you don't want to cut all the way through, but you want to cut down pretty far. And then take it out and kind of open it a little bit. Let's see, let's try to get you guys down here. See how we have it open? Let me see if I can pick it up. And it's just open. It's not all the way through, but it's open. And then take a piece of clay that you rolled out. Just cut a slice like this and set it inside so it goes all the way down. And because mine's a little stickier because it's warm and kind of melty, it's kind of how you want your chocolate, but you don't want your clay, but you get the idea. And you'll push it all the way down and then kind of push this back together. See how we have. So it kind of goes down in there. And you can see how I'm losing the shape. It's like I said, I'm going to show you the construction. Will it be perfect? No. But you're going to get the gist of it. And like I said, this is when I would go, you know, put it in the freezer again. Because I know it sounds like if I was upstairs, I would be putting this in the freezer because it is warm down here. And then just roll it. And you can see right here where the, you know, where it was inserted. And if you take your hand or your finger or if you have a knitting needle or uh, what's these things called? Wait, where is it? I know I have it. Oh gosh, I swear if I could think today. Where the heck is it? I see it every day. Oh, bone folder, bone folder. Whatever, you know, just smooth out those things. Or you can just roll it like I'm rolling it. Nothing, no big deal. I push it back together a little bit. Straighten it out with your fingers. If you have like pieces where, you know, it's a little thicker or whatever, just don't worry. Okay, so... You can see we kind of have a petal looking kind of thing here. Now, here are the other ones. Now, I'm going to, I can go in and kind of, you could put it on your thing and stamp it down. You can do whatever. We're going to line them up and we're going to line them so the, um, we have five of them. And then we're going to pick a middle color. Um, I'm just going to do black because that's what I have and I'm going to measure it, you know, and cut it and then I'm going to set these aside for a minute and I'm going to roll this out just a little bit because we want that to be the middle and then, and you want it to be circular also and then I'm going to go lay my uh, clay that I did, my five. And I'm going to lay it here. And where you laid your clay in is what's going to go towards the middle, if that makes sense. See how we laid our clay in there? It's going to go in the middle. Can you see it coming together? And this is imperfection. Look it, look it, 
can you see it? And I'm in a very hot room. And everything's sticky. Okay, so here we have this. And then what you want to do, uh, uh, please. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to take the pink color or whatever color you choose for the outside. Okay, we obviously chose pink, fuchsia, dark pink, hot pink, whatever. And you want to roll. Now, these are a bit thick, but I wanted you to see. You want to roll and just roll and roll and roll. Okay, so then once we have it rolled, we want to pinch the top and go all the way down and pinch and pinch and squeeze and pinch and pinch and squeeze. And you see we kind of get like a triangly look. Okay, then your triangly look will then go in between and you want the pointy part to go in. Now I'm a little sticky here, but that's okay. I'm going to lay it in. See how I just laid it in? And then I can cut this off. And maybe we can lay it here. Make sure the pointy part goes in. I got a twofer on that one. And then continue, you know, rolling and pinch, and pinch, and squeeze, and squeeze, and go, and squeeze, and mush. Okay. And then you stick the, remember the pointed part that we just squeezed and pushed into the gap. And then cut it. And this is gonna be a little too small for what we want there, so we'll go on to the next one, and we'll roll it out. Probably don't need two more, but I'll just roll this one out, and we'll squeeze. And I think you get the dance and the song. So in your head, while you're doing it, and you can see this one's a little separated here, which so this will go in a little deeper, which is fine. I'm just going to pinch that end off. And then go to my last side, and then I'll do the end where I'm just squeezing it a little bit more there because I kind of mushed it. And then I'm just going to put that right there. Okay? So you see where we're going with that. So now we have this. You say, boy, it really looked like a flower until you added those little push and go things. Ha <laughs> ha! Surely you just. Now roll out another piece of your paper. Um, your paper. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's Saturday. Okay. Roll out another piece of your color, of your main color, which ours happens to be fuchsia, pink, hot pink, pink, whatever. You can do this in whatever color you like. You don't, I did black so you guys could see the middle. Do yellow, do green. Do whatever. Do a black and white hole montage. Do You can do whatever color your heart desires. Okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to lay him here. Let me get him on the camera. Going to lay it. And we're going to start to try not to trap any air bubbles. So you want to kind of roll. And we're going to roll it and roll it and roll it until we get to the other part the other end and if you roll back like I just did you can kind of see where it at like this part right here touched so you kind of know where like to cut it basically I'm gonna move it out the way and then I'm gonna roll it and then I'm just gonna kind of roll it shut so it kind of connects because you know clay does that and look what we're getting at so and then we got some things hanging out the back air that Maybe some people don't want hanging off the back of their back end. Maybe they bought some Imodium that really didn't work very well. That because it was store brand and yeah. It's a sad, sad story, but true. Okay. So you see this looks like a hot mess, but we ain't going to worry about that right now. Because what we're going to do is we are going to take our hands and we're just going to keep pushing in. And we're pushing in, and we're pushing in, and we're rolling, 
and we're rolling. And if you put it on here and you roll, and this is kind of combining all those things we just put in there. And it's okay that your end, which I'll show you in a second, and you want even pressure because, like I said, you will get air bubbles, and I get air bubbles all the time, not only in my clay, but in my stomach. But that's a whole other story, too. But let me just show you. So if it's looking like this, like it's eating itself, no big deal. This, I don't even know what the heck it has going on here. Am I worried about it? No. I'm going to take my... Now, here's what I suggest. Before you cut anything off or do anything, go put this in the freezer for five minutes. Because when you come out, everything will be firmed up. And that's what you want. Because the goodness is in the middle. Hopefully when I cut this. <laughs> but mine is like, my hands are sticky. You know, it's kind of, like I said, it's warm in here. But I'm going to cut this end off. And you see how it squishes down a little bit. And that ain't good. I don't know what the heck that is. Let me cut this end off. Yep. Good. <laughs> now this is the yucky end that I cut off. But you get the gist. This one kind of went a little wonky, but what flowers are perfect? I don't know any. Flowers are beautiful. So, I'm going to try to... What I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut this in half. And you can see how it worked. Is it perfect? No. Like I said, it's very warm in here and it's hard to kind of get everything in there perfect, but you get the gist of what it is. And when you do it, if you do as I tell you to do, put it in the freezer or you're working in a colder area. Plus my hands are constantly like 110 degrees. Um, but you get the gist of it. So watch what happens. So here's our one half. And if we roll it, I mean, it's so, it's so warm down here. This is just really, and I'm just going to roll it to, sh to shrink it so you can see the difference. Don't worry, when winter comes and it really gets warm, I mean, it gets cold, I'll be down here screaming, it's so cold. I'm dying. So if we cut this, now look, see how much smaller it is? And like I said, that little petal, he just want to ride. He's like a crazy me. He was like, I don't want to be in the same friends with these people. But you see how perfect those ones are? Let's see. Yeah, let's clear up. See? So if you really, like I said, really, really, you know, are in a cooler area without it being 100 degrees in the room that you're in, um, you can really see how this turns into a flower. And like I said, this is not a loss for me because I'll use it. But look at the difference in the size just from rolling it. So, I mean, those are the different sizes that you can get. Now, obviously, this happened, like right here, this one and this one when I put them in. I did not pay attention if I was putting them in um, as straight as they should have been. So when I put the pink in, like for instance in this one, when I put the pink, when I cut the um, white in half, was it the white? Yeah, and then put the pink in, I obviously did not do it correctly. You understand what I'm saying? Like when I rolled it, I didn't make sure that I did it correctly. And then when I went to put this on the black, I didn't make sure it was lined up. You can see these ones right here, these three, really, really good. So you can see when you kind of do a screw up, that's what happens. Is it a screw up to me? No, it's just a, a great cane that I did and that I can use on things. Um, but like I said, those are things for you to pay attention to. So you can, um, you know, just kind of firm up for yourself when you're doing it. And then I'm going to cut one more. I mean, I'm going to roll a little bit more. But you get the gist of how to do it. It's really not hard, and it's really easy. And let me just cut this one. Plus, when I cut it, it kind of smushes it a bit because of the... Uh... So we have... 
try to hold these all up for y'all. Look how cute that little end is, but it's not even a real end. Okay, never mind. So here are our three different sizes from one cane. And you can continue going. If you want to take this and cut it again and make it in between this one and the middle one, or even make smaller. So you can have a bunch of these and slice these off before you slice them, put them in the freezer, please, or your refrigerator, whatever you have cold. Because look, these are sticking together like crazy because they're so squishy, you know, they're so hot. Because I'm so hot, baby. But, um, so you get the general idea. It's very easy to do, very fun, very fun to do with the kids, to sit and do it. And like I said, you know, of course, you want to supervise your children when you are, um, let me take this one and just see how small I'm going to get it. You want to supervise your children, um, of course, when you're doing this. However, when they're cutting, like I've, like I'm cutting with my, um, blade, they do have children's, they're purple and I don't have it right here, but they do have children's, um, clay tools that are plastic that will not hurt them. Also, if you have um, like a pallet knife, you know what I mean? Or something like this. It's not, it doesn't have a blade on it. It can cut also. But like I said, they have children's, uh, clay tools in their section, in their, in their clay section. And you can use, I mean, I'm sure Play-Doh and them have it too. So, and Crayola, they have a, a brand of air dry clay. Let's see how small we got this. Oh, that's a small one. Look how small that is. So you see, you know, if you made a bunch of these and you just kind of put them together, if it clears up, are we going to clear up? Are we going to clear up? Yep. You know, you just kind of play. So you have all these sizes. If I just would have done those two petals, it would have been great. You know, you can make your petals touch the black, even, you know what I mean, touch it so it comes out, um, which is what I would probably suggest to do. Uh, but, um, you know, have fun, play, look how simple. And like I said, these won't go to waste because I can use them for so many different things. Um, when I'm doing little pieces, I can make them for earrings on a painting or uh, you know, whatever I want to do. So that is just the, uh, the flower cane today, my style. I'm not going to win an award. I just wanted to show you guys the steps on how to do it. And believe me, like I said, if it wasn't as warm down here and, um, I had an hour to sit and show you step by step, I would, but I think that you guys, if you try this, you will really get it. It will not, it's not that hard. And like I said, you know, um, yes, you know, this one come out a little crooked, but hey, you know, now if I wanted to roll this out, you know, if you want to make a pendant, if yours came out a little bit more perfect, I mean, you see this one, he's, he's like, I ain't playing, you know what I mean? Um, I am playing the same game everybody else is playing. But if you roll it out, you can make it into a pendant. If this one wasn't saying, I'm not playing the game, I'm not conforming. But uh, you get you get the idea. And then you can like wrap a black around it or whatever you want. You can uh, cook it, uh, bake it, and then put a nice shine on it or glitter or whatever you want. And you have a great, you know, little pendant. Pieces for your, you know, whatever you want to do. So... That's the basic of how you do it. Ask me questions if you have them, because I'm sure, you know, it's going to confuse, you know, some people might be confused. Um, it's very easy. And I highly suggest to sit and play around and do it because, and then all your pieces that don't mean, you know, that you kind of have sitting around that you cut, use as a middle for something. You know, when you're doing something, use it as a middle or roll them all together and then have a bead. You know, cut it into pieces and you can make a bead with it or smaller beads or a, a piece itself by just giving it a push down and it can be a pendant, you know, and, or make a bezel, you know, so like the inside's a little flatter so you can like 
uh, put a nice picture in there or, you know, some fancy smancies. And then the outside would be like a decorative bezel and put your hole in it before you bake it. I mean, it's endless. So I hope you guys learned something. Um, it's so easy, really is. And like I said, really try it because it's not hard at all. And it just takes, you know, a couple minutes to roll out your pieces and everything like that. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, leave me comments, and like my video, and share it. And if you're, you came across me um, and like my channel, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And keep an eye out. Within the next week or so, we're having another giveaway. And I hope you guys have a great day. Be kind to each other because you never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I hope to uh, you guys try this and have great success. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.